What will it take to initiate a global evolution on this planet? What will it take to get people to finally say, enough is enough, let's move into the new world? And I have to say, there are many different ways that this could come about. Some of them quite shocking, some more gradual. But each one of them will collectively draw more and more people into a new way of life by necessity. Number one, let's start off with a very simple reality that science has already recognized that we're going into the sixth mass extinction of life. It said we're destroying environments so quickly that we're breaking the web of life up into pieces and that these are not sustainable. And why is this relevant? Because humans are part of the web of life. We didn't come here separately from all the other organisms. We evolved in a field with all the other organisms. If you remove organisms that are fundamental to the field, then you are removing the platform on which humans can survive. And so we're beginning to see this right now. For example, the issue of bees. Without bees, how are we going to survive? Because bees pollinate the crops that we use in our agricultural foundation. So basically, so all of a sudden you say, yo, then bees become important for all of us. Yeah, because without the bees, we're just not going to get those crops pollinated. And all of a sudden you start to see, yeah, but what about bees? And I go, yeah, but what about bacteria? And it turns out, of course, bacteria are important. And everyone thinks, oh, bacteria are bad, germs and all that. And I go, guess what? You have 10 times as many bacterial cells as you have human cells in your body. They're not just visitors. They're part of your humanness. If you took the microorganisms out of the human body, the human body would not survive. So basically, while you see yourself as a human with human cells, you have to recognize you're a little bit more than that. You're a superorganism because the bacteria in your body, the so-called good bacteria, represent elements that are necessary for your own survival. So, between local conditions of changing climate environment, uh, through pollution issues that are now extending globally all around the planet, I think that simultaneously we're being pushed into a unity from very different uh, sides uh, by different issues that we all have to face on this planet. Whether it's the fuel industry or the food industry or the health industry, we're all involved with the outcome, and we're all being forced to recognize the only way out is through community. And this is what's happening in the world today. People are coming together. The internet has created the nervous system that allows seven billion humans to be part of one living system. We are now in that process of recognizing our world unity. And this for me is the most exciting part because magic will happen. There's a process called the emergence in physics that says when you bring enough parts together, what happens to those parts is greater than anybody could imagine by looking at any of the individual parts alone. In other words, something new comes out of the community that you can never anticipate by looking at any of the individuals in the community. And this is what we're looking forward to, a state of emergence a state of new belief, a state of new consciousness. And this will be most amazing because the collective power of seven billion humans working together in harmony will generate a world that at this moment we couldn't even envision. And it's right at our doorstep. So this is a great time. Keep your eyes open and get ready because big things are happening.